Hey everybody, good to hear from you, well, good to see you here this morning. I'm going to promise not to look at the camera. I'm just getting to church though. I'm listening to Christ the Lord's Risen Today. And I just love this chorus they've added to, to that classic hymn. So it's pretty cool. Um, I really love it. They just did a great job. Always wanted to do it for Easter, but just never heard a really good rendition of it. <clears throat> so it was excited to hear about this one. I am stopped now. I'm at the church. And so I am just uh, excited to do it. Wanted to tell you about, uh, remind you, Friday, tomorrow night is our worship night, Friday Night Fire. Uh, I've heard a few of you from a few of you who, who are looking forward to coming and excited to have you. Um, yeah, let me know if you're going to come. I'm going to create an event on Facebook for that. And uh, make sure you come. We're going to worship and bring out the, like, the drums into my living room. We'll have bass there. I have the keys out there. I'll obviously have my acoustic. And then, um, yeah, let me know a song that you want to do if you're going to come. So come, make sure you do. And then lastly, we've been sharing some articles recently. Um, I believe Carrie sh shared one that was really kind of a worship arts covenant, if you will, uh, in a way that just really hit it was some, you know, some straightforward truth about excellence in, uh, in worship team. And some of those <clears throat> kind of, yeah, some of those hard truths that that we need to jump into. I shared an article yesterday, uh, kind of going off of that, that kind of inspired me. Um, uh, well, it wasn't really an article; it was a it was a, a video um, talking about misleading people in in worship, and it touches on that stuff that Carrie posted that we we need to know our craft, we need to be uh, all of those things that we talk about with Heart of the Artist uh, of you know we. We've got, we have to have some standards. Um, and if we don't, we can really mislead people and not lead people well in worship. And so, um, <clears throat> and that are, yeah, it just, that's one way we can mislead. But, but this uh, podcast that I, that I posted really went on to talk about other things too. The other side of it, you know, besides the external things of, of practicing and working together and, and having, um, yeah, just really lots of different things there in that area with practicing and um, verses and skill and talent. Um, but also the internal things can also mislead people in worship. You know, because there's no point. What's the point in leading people in worship? You can do it uh, and have all of the externals put together Um but if you are spiritually bankrupt, if you're not, if you don't have, if you're not um, growing in your relationship with Christ, you're not reading your Bible, you're not, um, you know, praying regularly, you're not caring for others as Christ would, then what's the point of having all the skills? And so I know I say it a lot, but I would come back to that to say, you know, let's work on those things. We need to work on those things too, or we are misleading people spiritually which to me, that's a bigger deal. Um, we can always get better at our craft. We can always work better with others. But if we don't have that foundation, if we are constantly daily, daily checking our relationship with Christ, uh, then, you know, that's a big one. So a couple of other internal things are emotionally. We need to have uh, an emotional uh, we should be taking an emotional barometer of of um, our uh, of who we are and how we are doing every day. So maybe we are having one of those weeks that we are just barely keeping it together. Uh, maybe we're we're breaking up into tears every day. Maybe uh, maybe it's not that. Maybe we're yelling at our our family or uh, that sort of thing. But we're not quite keeping it together. Those are times that. I think we struggle to say, you know what, I, I can't do this this week. I need to take care of this. And then lastly, I, I would say another internal thing is just physically. How, how are we feeling physically? Are we sick this week? Well, maybe you just need to rest. 
because you get up there and hack and cough in front of people or you just can't concentrate because you're sick. That's another reason. So anyway, just wanted to encourage y'all today, take a look at that, that video, read that article. There are some, you know what, we can mislead people in worship whether we haven't practiced or whether you know we just need to spend some time with Christ. There, there are so many things that can fall into that category. So I want to encourage you with that this morning, and I'm just gonna jam out for a little bit today. So anyway, uh, hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Okay, thanks.